Hello and welcome to our first Synsonics tutorial. Today I will be showing you a very nice little trick inside Reason and we're going to be simulating time stretching and granular synthesis of sampled sounds. This can work with any software of your choice provided they have the similar functions that we have in Reason. So for those of you not familiar with time stretching or granular synthesis, they're both very similar things. Granular synthesis essentially is the process of chopping up a sound into smaller grains and reordering their playback. And time stretching also is a bit more complex than that, but the the effect that you can have is of changing the 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 length of a sample without affecting its pitch. So I've started off by loading up an NN19 sampler and I'll load up also a vocal sample inside it and I'll bring up the matrix lane for the sampler and I'm going to draw in a straight sequence of notes on using a 1 over 64 division of that bar. So what these notes are essentially representing are the different grains of the sound. So if I play that back, I get this straight sequence of grains, if you will. Now, the trick here today is to make use of the sample start knob. So if I play that back again and tweak it a little, Take my soul. Sounds very similar to time stretching. So to make use of this in a more musical context, I will be making automation of that knob. That also gives me more control over the sound. Take my soul. Take my soul. This is the clean sample. Soul. It take my soul. Okay. And this is the sample being stretched. It take my soul. Now if you notice the slope that I'm drawing here is actually very interestingly going to determine the speed at which the sample is played back. So if I draw in a, s a slope that's not as steep, I can obviously extend this another bar and I can draw this slope across and that should be take my soul. gives me a very nicely stretched out sample without affecting pitch now a few little things to make it sound better obviously you can use effects and it's really up to you how to you process the sound I'm gonna be showing you how to use the the uh, amp envelope to make it sound smoother. So I've brought up the attack sound and that's precisely what it's going to do. It's going to smooth out the the um, transitions between the grains, if you will. And if I bring up the release, that's going to make the sound thicker, as you will hear. Gives it almost a bit of a reverby effect. So you can use your imagination here. Any kind of sample will really work with this. And I can even load up a drum beat and... Okay, and if I draw in some more unusual kind of slope lines, I can get a more granular synthesis type of effect. very IDM kind of sound, Aphex Twin. So I hope this should trigger you with some new ideas. You can resample your sounds and create new samples from them. Um, use whatever, whatever kind of sound you, you may want. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. There are the tutorial files available on our website at synsonics.com forward slash tutorials. I, I've included a few examples um, of what I have just shown you here today. 
Hope you enjoyed it. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.